That's you were just doing the first six, right? Mm. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, that's great. That's great. You're doing working on the whole cycle. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Do you have you have you performed it before, or are you still working on it? Yeah, I just this is I, new. Yeah. Okay. Great. Awesome. Um, so let's talk a little bit about Dichtliebe. What uh, what does Dichtliebe mean? To my beloved. No. What does Dichtliebe mean? That is the mean word. Beloved. No, it means poet's love. Oh, Dichter is poet. Uh, just speak, uh, and then love is Liebe. So poet, the word Dichtliebe means po uh, a poet's love. Right? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, so on the on 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 my beloved might be or on my lieber would be to my beloved or okay. something like that. Dichte, the, the poet is the important thing. Dichte, you are the dichte, right? Mm -hmm. You are the poet, right? So, um, what is what is the cycle about? Uh, well, it starts off where he's uh, it's past tense, yeah, and it's about his love uh, and how like they talk about like. His love to her and stuff, and then it moves on to uh, from his tears, spring flowers, yeah. and then uh, saying like, "If you love me, I'll give you all these things." Uh, and then it moves on to what he used to love. And then he says like, "I love them no more." And then he goes on to be like, "I only love her, this person," yeah. and then it goes into. Uh, how wonderful it is to be with her. Okay. And then uh, at the very end of that song, the Venish uh, Algenzi, at yeah. the end of that song, then he gets to the part where he says, where then you'd say, I love you. And then he yeah. says, I must weep bitterly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And so then it moves on to the next one. Right. So that, that's, your, that's very good. But like, is it of an overall arching storyline? Right? It's, it's uh, from like his love till basically dies. Okay. Right? Right. I think so. Yeah, yeah. no, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, you know, this is, when I first, uh, when I, the first time I ever sang this cycle, um, I didn't, I never did in love before. You know, I didn't know what that was, right? And the more that I thought about this cycle, the more that I thought about this music, it was similar to what we were talking about uh, with Gretchen. It's like, what, how do I relate to this? You know, where am I going to find myself in this music? And for me, it was realizing that it's just a poet's love is his art. You know, that this is more about the, his relationship with art, with music, or at least for me in finding the, finding this, the cycle, was my relationship with my singing. You know, how you ever, like, one day you're just like, Gosh, this feeling of singing is great. And then the next thing you're like, why isn't this working? Like this was fine yesterday. But like today it's just like there's something like maybe I stayed up too late last night, did I drink too much? Or like whatever it is that you know you are constantly struggling. Like, gosh, I just don't feel like practicing today. All of these this push and pull that we that we have with our art as singers, that to me was what like some days, like, you know, if if singing says I love you, like I'm like, oh gosh, like why is it why does it have to be so hard? Then I weep bitterly, you know? Because that I feel like that that image of bitter tears is something that we but you've just told me that you love me. How do I what what is the bit where does the bitterness come from? Yeah? Does that does that make sense to you? I hear what you're saying. That's not how I was looking at it, but I got yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, but I think there 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 are lots of ways into into music like this, and so I it's just it's the idea of being able to understand where like what's the way that you're going to connect with the music that it makes sense that you feel like you have a personal connection. The reason why you're singing this song is not because someone assigned it to me or because. You know, this is, I'm filling the credits. And what do I have to say with this piece that only I can say? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's start at the beginning. And uh, one sort of overall sort of technical thing that I might uh, ask you to think about is rhythm. Okay? So if you're given a tempo by the pianist, 
to try and accept that tempo. Try and take the tempo. If they, if he's given, if Scott has given you a tempo, don't wait. Don't try and tri- see if you can maintain that tempo. Does that make sense? Okay. Oftentimes when we start, like the, the, the accompaniment will start, and then sometimes we start singing, and all of a sudden it gets slower. Right? Okay. We start singing soft, and all of a sudden it gets slower. That's a very common thing. See if we can see it. Don't let dynamics or just our own vocalism get in the way of rhythm and tempo. Okay. So let's try from you. Oh. 
nice. It's interesting because you have this moment of joy right next to yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Something yeah. that you know, <laughs> it's this it's this constant sort of chiaro score is this light and darkness, this bitter sweetness that is this uh, that is throughout this entire cycle. It's in every single song, right? That unrequited love. You know, I love something so much that it's not loving me back. You know. That, that is what the struggle is in this song, right? Um, let's go on to the next song. Die Rose, die Lilia, die Taube, die Sonne, die Liebst, ist ein Sonnenlebens Wunder. Ich lieb sie nicht mehr, ich lieb alleine, die Kleine, die Feinde, die Reine, die Eine. Sie selber alle Liebe, Wunder, ist Rose und Lilia und Taube. Munter. Okay. So um, I don't want to lose text. I don't want to lose a word of text. I'm a rapper. So. Okay. Oh, I'm just, I'm just <laughs> right. so, and I want you to do it, and I want you to see if you can take less time for the breaths. I don't want it. I don't want the song to stop. All right. This this time was better than the first time you did. You kept the rhythm, but I want you to be able to do it without losing momentum in the song. Okay. Okay. Die Rosa, die Lilia, die Taube, die Sonne, die Liebs, ist ein Sonne, ein Liebes Wunder. Ich lieb sie nicht mehr, ich lieb alleine, die Kleine, die Feinde, die Reine, die Eine. Sie selber alle Liebe Wunder, ist Rosa und Lilia und Taube und Sonne. Ich lieb alleine, die Kleine, die Feinde, die Reine, die Eine, die Eine. Yes, breathe before the last, die Eine. Breathe before that one? Because what are you saying? The uh, rose, the lily, the pure. pure. The uh, what is it? The rose, the lily, the talba, the zona. The dove, the sun, right? The yes. The rose, the lily, the dove, the sun. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you want to get really like German on this, go to the library or Google like German symbolism. And type. There will be a website. That makes sense. Like that. Rose. Look up rose, the rose, <laughs> the lily, the dove, and sun. Okay. Yeah. Die Liese nicht mehr, ich liebe alleine, die Kleine, die Feine, die Reine, die Eine. What are those four things? Die Liese nicht mehr, die nicht eine, die Kleine. What is uh, the Kleine? It's a small one? That's, the I don't know the, the yeah. specific, I just know that it means I love them, no, I love them. No, 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 no. no. Well, what are the, so you're saying, die Liebe, die, die Rose, die Liebe, die Taube, die Sonne. Okay, that's your, those are the first four things. You're saying, I love them. But I, 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 I once loved these things, uh -huh. but I don't love them anymore. Right. Now I love the Kleine, the Feine, the Kleine, the Eine. Uh, it's like the one, the pure. The Kleine is the small one. The small, the pure. Feine is the fine one. Is it? Oh, it's fine. And I know it's pure. Feine, yeah. Pure. Okay. <laughs> the one, the Eine. Yes. Right? Okay. Who are, what, who is the what is the Kleine, the Feine, the Reine, the Eine? Who is the, who is the uh, small, the Feine, the Pure, the One? The one that is going to break up with him later? The, this person <laughs> is, whatever it is. she is, right? Right? Okay, so these, these things, and if, so if you think about the rose is small, the, the, the rose, the, the, the lily, which you're going to sing about later, right? Uh, the, is the uh, fine, right? The kleine, the fine, the reine, uh, the rose, the, 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 is the small, is the dove, right? So all of these, this poetry, it all matches. The symbols all match each other. Okay, so you're replacing all of these things with the, with her. All right, and I think if you do a little research and find out what the rose, the lily, the dove, and the sun mean in German poetry. Your mind's <laughs> All right. Gotcha. <laughs> well, not in the 
I didn't think I was like, oh! Yes. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's, and it's because, I mean, especially with the cycles, especially if you ever sing Shuna Millerin or Venturiza and Dishleba, and especially Heine Poultry, is full of symbols. And they knew what the, it was common knowledge in 1848 what these symbols meant in Germany. Like, a poet could not write the word rose without no, everyone knowing what he meant by writing the word gotcha. rose. Okay? Um, so it, it's worth the time to look it up, all right? Um, or if you've got a German, uh, German uh, teacher or a literature, uh, someone here that does teach German literature, go through it with them, ask them about it. They'll be happy to tell you. Um, so, uh, so the uh, so the Ina I think is important. The one, okay. And I would read before the last Ina because uh, you want to make that very clear. The one, the one. Yes, and you've got retarded with that, right? In the la in the in the very last one that you sing. Uh, so let's try that again. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 